Why U.S. Growers Are Betting the Farm on Soybeans Amid China Trade War Chicago Reuters U.S. farmers are gearing up to plant what could be their third largest soybean crop ever despite failing to sell a mountain of beans from their last harvest due to a U.S.-China trade war that remains unresolved. Soybeans were the single most valuable U.S. agricultural export crop and until the trade war, China bought $12 billion, 9 billion worth a year from American farmers. But Chinese tariffs have almost halted the trade, taking the biggest buyer out of the market and leaving farmers with crops they cannot sell. The U.S. government, the U.S. government rolled out a $12 billion farm aid package last year to soften the impact of falling revenue on farmers, an important source of votes for U.S. President Donald Trump. As winter ends and farmers begin planting, they will continue to plant soy despite uncertainty over whether they will be able to sell beans to China later this year. There are simply no it. One alternative, sorghum, was also dragged into the trade war. Farmers also alternative niche crops such as hemp are expensive to start growing and have limited markets. Farmers All that means farmers will plant soybeans in the hope that the trade war ends, or that they will be compensated by another bailout or crop insurance schemes. The U.S. Department of Agriculture USDA forecasts farmers will sow 85 million acres of the oil seed this spring. That is down just, the USDA expects soybean prices will fall in 2019 due to tariffs and rising supply. But soybean future, it. Brinker is aiming for a 50-50 split between corn and soybeans on his farm after a similar division in 2018. Any further increase, growers are also confident their government subsidized crop insurance plans will soften the blow if soy prices fall. Farmers pay for their individual insurance policies, which provides a minimum price they will receive when they book sales for their crops. The federal government bid. The 2019 crop insurance price for soybeans was set at $9.54 a bushel based on the futures market activity during February, a rate 62 cents lower than last year. The November soybean, as well as the insurance, farmers were able to tap the government aid program to boost the profit on their 2018 crop. The bulk of the program bloody out here. The economic future of U.S. farmers is in the hands of U.S. and Chinese negotiators working to end the trade war, said Bob Utterback, president of consultancy Utterback Marketing. It's The USDA expects China's annual soy imports to fall this year for the first time since 2004. China has booked a fast-spreading outbreak of African swine fever reported in 28 provinces and regions has led to mass culling and reduced China's demand for hog feed. China has also, but many farmers are convinced China will have to return to the US market because even if it succeeds in reducing soy meal demand as Chinese demand for soybeans has more than tripled in the past 15 years. And Beijing has promised 10 million more tons of goodwill purchases as part of the trade negotiations, U.S. officials have said. I. There. Reporting by Mark Weinraub. Additional reporting.